वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल यू पी एस सी लॉजी माई सेल्फ राहुल एंड आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द हिंदू एनालिसिस फॉर पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑप्शनल डेटेड ट्वेल्थ ऑफ नवंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी दिस लेसन इज बींग प्रजेंटेड बाई मी राहुल एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल डोंट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू दिस यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर रेगुलर वीडियोज ऑन पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑप्शनल फॉर यू पी एस सी सिविल सर्विसेज एग्जामिनेशन ओके अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट द मैगजीन फॉर द पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑप्शनल दैट इज पबेट पी डी आई हैज़ बीन लॉन्च इन द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई अगस्त एंड सेप्टेम्बर इट सेल्फ सो यू कैन डाउनलोड द मैगजीन द लिंक फॉर द सेम इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट द नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट सिक्स मंथ्स एंड ट्वेल्व मंथ सब्सक्रिप्शन ऑफ द मैगजीन हैव ऑल्सो बीन लॉन्च सो यू कैन जॉइन द सब्सक्रिप्शन मॉडल ऑफ दिस मैगजीन यू विल गेट द मैगजीन ऑन योर ई मेल आई basis the procedure and how you can join the all the things are given in the description box and i will also make a dedicated video in the upcoming days and let's begin with the hindu and you can also join my telegram group pavet pedia official you can search pavet pedia official on the telegram in order to get access to that group uh, more than 1800 aspirants of public administration optional are there okay so let's get started with the hindu and let's link the current affairs of the hindu with your public administration at and how can you read the things okay so first of all the first news that you need to understand is the government to govern ott platforms so basically what you have to understand that uh, regulation is the part of your syllabus if you look at the public administration paper 1 you will get a specific unit which is called as organization unit number 4 is all about organization in organization you will get regulation and regulation covers this thing because government is going to govern or, or government is going to regulate ott platforms what are ott platforms ott platforms are nothing but they are and they they are known as over the top content platform over the top ott over the top platforms uh, means all the platforms like uh, you have netflix you have amazon you amazon prime you have uh, other things like this so they they are called as the ott platforms as of now means uh, before this particular government decision before this notification and all uh, they are you can say they were and they were a kind of you can say there was no regulation as such but now they will come under the ambit of ministry of uh, information and broadcasting this is something that is there and this is something that you should understand that yes regulation is there okay this is going to be the uh, the, the thing like uh, like they are going to the government is going to regulate and you can use this thing in so far as the regulation is concerned in so far as the regulation from the theoretical perspective is concerned what you can understand you should understand that regulation is the part of uh, your syllabus and you will get to know the linkages of regulation if you have downloaded the previous magazines i told you i have made a particular diagram and all with respect to the linking as of now let me simply give you the over view in the voice itself so i am not going to draw the diagram over here but in magazine all these things are there okay are already there so the thing is that uh, if you try to analyze the regulation as one of the common pattern in the theoretical perspective of public administration right from the beginning uh, in the times of arth shastra means during the kautilya arth shastra period or during the mauryan empire at that point of time also regulation was there okay regulation was there in terms of uh, specifically we can say that liquor was something that was you can say regulated at that point of time we got these things in the till earth shastra so we can say that regulation is something that started uh, before the uh, actual arrival of public administration as a subject in the times of earth shastra this is first thing apart from that there are self regulation mechanism self regulation as such self regulation you will find in the ideas of uh, chester bernard and all bernard was also of the view that best regulation is uh, is a kind of this this kind of regulation means self regulation sort of thing apart from that what you will get to know that uh, and that uh, there is also a kind of self regulation mechanism that you will find in the theory why of douglas macgregor douglas macgregor's theory it is about the participative mechanism it is about uh, the kind of uh, 
you can say the kind of organization you can use it in the organization but as such it is it can be used like this as, as well that self regulation is something that theory why also suggest that people should regulate themselves rather than uh, this thing so that's why we have self regulation mechanism in media as well in be in media there is a broadcasting in this and there is a body called here you can see news broadcasting standards authority it is self regulatory body even in your second arc in the report called citizen centric administration there is one report on second in second arc reports there is one report uh, which is uh, specifically on citizen centric administration you can search it on google uh, on youtube itself i have made a particular summary of that report as well so there also you will get that four or five principles have been brought by second arc in so far as the regulation is concerned and there are points like uh, minimum regulation is better regulation self regulation is best regulation government should minimize the regulation just like uh, uh, the phenomena called minimum government maximum governance similarly minimum regulation is being uh, uh, highlighted in that second arc recommendation and self regulation is the best regulation these are the keywords these are the phrase these are the jargons that you can use in your answer writing in so far as the regulation is concerned apart from that various bodies are also there whose recommendation are being posted in, on my telegram group so these things are there just try to link like this okay so this is all about this specific issue you have to read it and you have to link Link like this, okay. Apart from that, farmers farm on farmers farm on Delhi march against centers farm laws. So these farm laws are in news, and these farm laws are in news in in the in la, since last month and all. So what you have to understand that this issue is going to help you. This going issue is going to help you in your answer writing when it comes to the paper two of public administration optional. In paper two of public administration optional, there is a unit called uh, there is a unit called. Uh, this uh, uh, union government and administration where center state relation is very important and here this specific issue will help you in writing the answer with respect to center state relation that how the center is basically going into the state list basically center is not directly going into the state list um, by the uh, name of agriculture they are going into the into the state list uh, they are basically they are using the concurrent list in so far as this law is concerned because agriculture is something that is in the state list but the trade practices and all these things are the part of your uh, this uh, con concurrent list and government is using that particular concurrent list provision in so far as the farmer farm and all these farm farm laws are concerned so i am not going to deal with the farmer laws because i am not uh, teaching gs over here i am not teaching the gs3 agriculture and sectors of economy over here but what i am teaching over here is the public administration perspective so you can link this thing with hashtag center state relation with hashtag paper 2 with hashtag public administration paper 2 with hashtag union government and administration okay how can you link you have to understand the issue called concurrent list so let me give you some perspective over there over here so here you can see i am i am referring to insights ias and uh, they have th they have covered this rstv in depth seven schedule center state so just a, a source I am referring to insights. Insights has referred to RSTV, Raj Sabha TV. So ultimately, it is all about the education. So let's begin this thing. So here you can see that there are under Article two forty six of the Indian Constitution. It deals with the division of powers. Divi division of powers in the sense and the division of powers between center, state, and the concurrent list union list as you know about the things union list is there it covers this uh, subject these subjects then state list is there then concurrent list is there so these are the things you should know for your prelims examination the the thing that you should understand is the debate over centralization of power because what is happening over here that to power because of concurrent list power centralization is there because center if let's say there is a topic in concurrent list and if both center and state government are making the laws on that particular topic or on that particular subject then the center's law will prevail this is a centralizing tendency tendency in the concurrent list this is one of the feature that is not that is you can say cause that creates india a quasi federal union okay so this is something that you should know that centralization 
and there are debates over this thing as you can see over here this thing also the topic is topic is about this centralization only that uh, uh, centralization of power is power is there so here basically since 1950 seventy seventh schedule of indian constitution has seen a number of amendment union list concurrent list and uh, grown while subjects under state list have gradually reduced this is the another example to show that how federalism or how the centralization has been increased right after the independence because there are many subjects as you can see over here through 42nd amendment act 1976 five subjects are transferred from state to concurrent list so state to concurrent what does it imply it implies this thing that earlier only state can make the laws but after this transfer to concurrent list what happened is that now the center can also make the laws and if both center and state are making the laws on a particular subject then the uh, former the former will prevail so this is something that you should remember that how centralizing tendency has been increased in the past few years or right after the independence okay this is the thing that 42nd amendment act was perhaps one of the most controversial and it was also affected in 1976 during the emergency so you can understand the intentions behind this thing that how they tries to how the centralizing tendency in india has been increased okay apart from that former tamil nadu chief minister c n annadurai was one of the first to advocate for the state autonomy and if you have gone through the in the the chapters in m lakshmi kant of your basic polity you must be knowing about the committees and all with respect to center state relation so taking this idea of forward tamil nadu government under m karuna jithi they constituted the pv rajmannar committee to look into the center state relation and it this committee submitted the report in 1971 and tamil nadu legislative assembly adopted a resolution 3 years later and in that that in that particular re, re, resolution they they and they basically demanded the center demanded that the center accept the state views on state autonomy and recommendation of rajmannar committee rajmannar committee spurred other states to voice their things so there is a kind of controversy during this time and sarkariya commission you must be knowing about this thing it also gave recommendation with respect to center state relation so this is the background of the debate that how states are basically facing the problem now i am referring to civils daily you can also use these kind of website on daily basis i am here just to give you knowledge i am not here for the kind of uh, other things so that's why i am doing these things openly I can also do the copy and I can paste it somewhere else and I can then explain the things. But okay, so they are doing this thing and I'm just following this thing. I'm just helping you to filter filter out the content. Okay, so there is no uh, issue at all in that thing. Okay, so removing the concurrent list strengthen the federalism in India. Discuss. So there is a controversy. I told you earlier as well. So basically, you have to understand. see the things and the see the things okay both the websites are using the same copy pasted content okay so there is no issue in that i should i should i can follow these things like this okay so even these websites have same content so there there should not be any copyright issue okay so issues with with concurrent list so here these are the issues with concurrent list that time and again center state relation came under scanner due to rising demand from various uh, corners of the country that centralization is increasing most recently the term of reference 15th finance commission or you can say gst compensation or act of god short of uh, controversy so many things are going on apart from that state capacity is limited and apart from that flexibility and uniformity needs to and there is a kind of balance infringement in the domain of state these are the issues that's why we we are basically facing the problem in so far as the concurrent list is concerned the most important thing you you should remember sarkariya commission recommendation on concurrent list this is very important for this year examination in 2021 itself or for that matter in 2020 because farm laws three farm laws are in controversy and it is it has the direct implication on center state relation and you should know that what sarkariya commission recommended on this thing in so far as the concurrent list is concerned so it says three recommendation it says this thing that the residuary power of the taxation should continue to remain with the parliament while other residuary power should be placed in the concurrent list this is the first thing so what are the residuary power article 243 of the indian 242 of the indian constitution 
uh, if i'm not wrong you have to check it out first of all okay so i'm i'm not sure but is but 90% it is article 242 itself article 242 of the indian constitution talks about residuary power i guess so residuary powers are do, are the powers which provides that what let's say there is a subject which is, which is uh, neither present in center state center state and concurrent list then what will happen what will happen is that that subject will fall under the Resu under the central central government embed so sarkaria commission is saying that it is very broad what we can do we can say this thing that taxation power residuary power of taxation will fall under the central list other things other things what uh, what we can do we can uh, put them under the concurrent list in order to give the power to the state okay this is the kind of thing which will provide more power to the state because as of now in the residuary subject residuary subject there is no power to the center okay i hope there is no power to the state sorry so in this sense you can just understand apart from that the center should cons consult the state before making a law on the subject this is the another thing let's say there is a subject in the concurrent list both center and state can make the laws but here center should consult the state this is the another recommendation by sarkaria commission so just use this thing in your answer um, because it will create the more you can say it will create more uh, kind of uh, proper implementation even in, even in your public policy public policy syllabus in your paper one of public policy in your public administration public policy this is one of the model of implementation as well that consent is very important okay because acceptance of the people will help you to to implement the policy in a more better manner this is something that is given in your public policy chapter as well that there is very important phenomena there are public policy model which says that the public should uh, participate and you can say all the stakeholders should participate because because it is very easy to implement the policy which is being accepted by the people where where there's a kind of uh, you can say the green signal from the people or from the different stakeholders otherwise what will happen that they will create the trouble they will they will not they will uh, you can say file the writ petition pil this thing that thing or they will create the problem in the implementation so that's why it is relevant for your public policy as well okay i hope you are getting this point apart from that ordinarily the union state occupy only that much field of the concurrent list subject on which uniformity of the policy and here also in concurrent list also first of all it is talking about residuary list some power to the state means here in the first point you can see the philosophy is something is better than nothing okay for the states something is better than nothing that okay as of now in residuary they do they do, they do not have anything so something is better than nothing where they have something like in concurrent list there we are giving them more things like for example consultation power okay and apart from that we are also saying this thing that uh, only in those subject where uniformity is required in only in those things center so, should intervene otherwise let the state make the policies let the state govern the things okay so it will basically what how it it is going to help us it is going to help us because state is you can say more closer to, to the people as compared to the central government and that's how it will help in the reduction in the pre beagle factor beagle factor is one of the problem in public policy implementation beagle factor is the thing where uh, just like beagle uh, the politicians at the you can say center or at the higher level they don't know the need of the ground level okay so i told this thing in the previous videos as well that for example people are starving and people want food people want midday meal people want you can say some sort of daily calories okay they are fighting for their daily food but what government is doing Ulan Yojana. I am not criticizing Ulan Yojana as such, but just try to understand that these people look from the particular. Uh, just remember the Gandhi ji's talisman. Okay, that he said this thing that you have to think about the 
poorest uh, people you you know uh, in the society and think from this perspective that whether your policy is going to help that particular person or not and th this is something that tries to reduce that beagle factor of public policy implementation this gandhi's talisman is nothing but the antidote to that beagle factor itself and when we are talking about the point number 3 we are we are doing nothing we are basically uh, we are basically trying to reduce that beagle factor we are making making sure that uh, the policy should be uh, you can say implemented and formulated at the Uh, you can say near to the people okay that's why see and decentralization and all these things are very important for the society okay i hope you are getting all these things and this is all about the sarkariya commission recommendation and this is all about this issue i hope you are getting this issue in a very detailed manner and i hope this will help you in your examination apart from that one more issue is there so let's cover this thing as well you have to read this editorial i am not going to read it out but here what you have to understand that this particular editorial might send reality of election forecast this is important because this will fall under your public administration paper 2 hashtag philosophical framework of the constitutional government or the constitution of india so this is one unit over there and you can write you can use these points why because here we have the international example and we are talking about the opinion poll we are talking about the voting pattern we are talking about the exit poll so these things are very important for the democratic perspective for the philosophy of the indian constitution and uh, this is the kind of latest issue and the writer is basically talking about uh, the different uh, kind of examples where there is a kind of uh, mites and there is a kind of failure of these election forecast the writer is talking about uh, the sample size the the biasness of the sample the way the sample is being collected how different uh, polls have the pollsters how they are basically working and how the international events are there so the thing is public administration uh, sometimes you have to give the Uh, international examples as well examples as well and here you can use these things like in uk election us election past us election past uk election exa examples are there so you can use these things apart from that you can mention this particular you can just remember this and you can mention in order to value in order to enrich the value of your answer okay this is something that you can do what i am talking about is this R richard kernin 2010 and this uh, 2010 book proving election fraud uh, phantom voters uncounted votes and the national exit poll so you can mention these kind of things in your public administration paper one in order to give a give a kind of age to your answer i hope you are getting let's say there is a question question on Uh, these kind of things okay like opinion poll exit poll so you can mention these things in your optional not in your gs you in gs you can write simple plain points but in optional you can use if you if you feel like okay Me means they will give you some age over others that's why you should be thorough with these things you can write this thing somewhere and you can mention the points that okay this particular book and all okay so and this is not very important but for those who are in advanced stage who want to uh, explore more and who want to add more content in order to enrich the quality they can also they can always do this thing okay so i hope you are getting the points and this is all about this issue so i have covered three topics today one is farm laws that how can you link this thing with the concurrent list in the sarkariya commission recommendation i link that thing with the policy implementation and other things apart from that we have covered this topic and we have also covered the regulation topic and i i have told you the re the things regarding second arc and the theories and thinkers that you can link with your regulation this is it for the day i hope this video will help you in enrichment of your content in so far as the public administration optional is concerned if you want to download the magazine the link is given in the description box this is it from my side don't forget to subscribe to this channel like the video comment in the comment section and have a nice day bye bye take care